Hi Scorpios, I'm Ace Empress. I'm here to do a love energy check reading for you guys. And these are your five cards. These cards will tell you what is happening right now. I feel like Scorpios, there is somebody who is in love with you. And this person wants to confess to you. This person is kind of in two minds about that decision. But they're soon going to have clarity because we have justice. And since we have justice, this could lead to the situation working in your favor. So I feel like this person is finally going to muster up the courage to come to you and confess their feelings. Um, and you know what I see? They mean business. They mean, uh, they are, once they confess to you, they mean it and they are in it for the long run okay so we are going to see who this person is what their personality is so in case you don't already know who this person is we'll see who is this person who is interested in Scorpio I feel like this is a new person this gives me the new person vibe Is this person who's interested in Scorpio? I feel like they could be a water sign similar to you. Who is this person who's interested in Scorpio? They could be Capricorn. Oh my god, they have passionate feelings for you. They're clearly hiding it. They do have passionate feelings for you. So much that you do not know. For me, the devil card is like... You're the... Let's say you are the chocolate lava cake. And this person has been hungry for a month. <laughs> so, you're the cake for them. This is how attracted they are to you. <clears throat> I feel like this is somebody who is... They are shy but they end up saying things that would make you blush. You know, you could be like, how come this person says things that nobody would dare say? And they say in, in such a cute way, in such, you know... They have this innocent face. But when they say like, let's suppose they say like your chocolate cake. You would be like, what is wrong with this person? How come they are so bold? They're not actually, but they end up saying things that would land them in trouble. How do they see you? I want to see that. They feel like you are a valuable person. They feel like you are a good business woman or man. And you are also a good homemaker. They miss you. They feel like you are a good companion that if uh, they imagine a future with someone and they want to spend their life with, you know, in sickness, in health, in um, good or bad and all those things they imagine that with you they feel like you have that potential how do they see you stop you they see you as someone they can have a good time with they see you as good company, good friend for life. They feel like you are somebody who knows how to have fun, who lives life um, quite happily. You have a good outlook towards life. That This is how they see you, okay? So no matter what you feel about yourself, this is their perception. 
let's see. These are their feelings for you. They're quite passionate about you again. They want to have a new beginning with you. They want to propose you, confess their feelings to you. And look at how they are smiling like he. -he. Let's see what is the universe universe's advice. Universe, please give advice for Scorpio. You have the moon. This person could be a cancer. What is the advice for Scorpios, please? One more, please. With the moon card, I think the universe is trying to say that yes, you don't know this person. Yes, this person is new to you, but it is it is okay to trust this person because we have two of cups. This is the soulmate card. This is a new soulmate. You know, I heard this thing that sometimes universe pairs of people who are strangers. You know, this is not somebody you, you have been meeting for lifetimes. So it may happen that when they confess, when they come uh, in your life, enter your life, you may not trust them. You may not recognize them. And you may say that, that there's no spark or there's no, you know, um, attraction. That won't be the case. This is your soulmate. Universe is saying if you have been single for a long time, very long time let's say years and years the sun is finally coming up then then this is the death card so you being single that that part is dead now it's time for the soulmate to enter your life let's see what romance angel comes up this person might have the water and fire combo um they might have a fire sun and water moon sign and they could have a air rising sign getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves your bond deepens see what did i say universe will bring this person in your life Universe will give you a chance to get to know this person, vice versa. It's like universe is pairing up, pairing you up with this person. This is a match made by universe. And you know when universe brings somebody in your life, it's uh, it's meant to be, and and the relations that the relationship that universe orchestrates is it's easy children your love life okay this means that you guys would have a connection that is so pure that is so connected i feel like you might have oh, you might communicate with each other intuitively and telepathy one more please very soon this person is coming in your life very 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 soon i feel like i feel like intuitively i feel like two months but it may differ for everybody out there so yeah you can expect this person to come really soon in your life and you ex you can expect your singlehood to say goodbye to you okay uh, hi, uh, Scorpios, if you like this reading, please like, share, subscribe and comment. If you want to book a personal reading, DM me on Instagram. The link is down below in description box. Thank you for watching.